first half we, uh, you know, weathered the storm a little bit with Paul picking up fouls. Um, you know, we, we really didn't didn't close the half very well. Kind of gave them maybe some momentum going into the locker room. Um, and then I thought in the third quarter we, we struggled uh, offensively and um, tried to put some different guys out there, different lineups out there um, in the fourth. Um, I thought those guys played hard, competed, tried to get back in the game. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we're down 3-1. You know, all we can really do right now is, you know, watch the film, try to make some corrections and adjustments, and, and, and get ready for, for game five. I mean, that's really all we can do. So, um, you know, we've got to go up there, and uh, we've got to obviously play better on, on both ends of the floor. And uh, I thought our guys defensively gave really, really good effort there. Um, and we fouled, obviously, late, um, which kind of skewed, but I thought defensively we worked, we worked pretty good. Um, he a team that didn't think she shot a great percentage, you know, from the field. I thought for us, we uh, we did not finish around the basket very well tonight. I thought we had a lot of stuff in, in around the rim, um, and I thought that was that was obviously a big factor in the game. Um, our, you know, our inability to kind of cash in on on some some plays around the basket. Eric Cordy, Oklahoma. Um, Billy, you talk about touching the paint. Guys get into the paint to in order to open up you know, the perimeter. On that third quarter, I think y'all took a lot of jump shots. Um, I think Dennis might have hit a floater and that might have been y'all's first points in the paint. It was, it was pretty deep into the third. Why was it that there were so many jump shots going up in the third quarter uh, when you know, y'all had success when you touch the paint and get those perimeter shots? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I have to look, look at the film. My, my, my feeling was we were actually going downhill and it was helping to kick the ball back out. There. I think there was some threes that we took. That may have been quick, but I thought for the most part, um, we, we tried to play downhill, we tried to play at the basket, um, we tried to go to the rim. Uh, when they shut things off, I thought we did a good job of making the extra pass, and I thought we generated some really, really, I thought we generated better shots there in the second half, um, you know, from, from behind the line. What is showing you is Billy, the rest of the second half, he has one point on 0 of 7 shooting. What did you see from him? Did you think he was maybe overpassing? He was he finding the right guys? Was he making the right plays? How did you assess his second? Well, I, I think you know we we, we didn't close the, the second quarter very well. I, I felt like he made a really really concerted effort to really try to move the basketball and try to find guys uh, and get guys shots. I thought he got guys some shots. I thought we had a lot of quote unquote pocket passes to the rim. You know, one of the things you know was was playing and pick and roll and. At times they played in the drop against certain guys, certain guys are up on. But when we got the ball to the basket, I, I mean into the pocket, I just didn't think we finished a lot of plays around it. And I think when he did get downhill and they shut him off, I thought he found guys for, for open shots. It was Brett Dawson with that, but you went small at the end. You had Jeremy more or less five without Steven out there. What are we trying to get going with that group? And what did you think of that look? <coughs> well, I mean, we were down. I thought we needed to do something a little bit different. Um, you know, I, I, you know, Lillard and McCollum, in my opinion, I thought we defended, you know, as hard as you can. I thought they made a lot of tough mid-range pull-ups, you know, which speaks to their shot-making ability. Um, we had a couple of breakdowns on some coverages, pick and roll-wise. We gave both of them a couple of threes there in the third. That's going to happen sometimes. Um, we got a little bit loose because uh, those guys are kind of shifty and crafty with the ball. Um, but you know, I, I thought I thought defensively we you know we, we worked on those guys, but those guys obviously in, in, in certain situations I thought you know really made made, made shots. Yeah, you know, Billy Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. You, you kept Lillard without a basket until I think the one twelve mark of the second quarter. At halftime, were you concerned that yeah play, keeping him held yeah. down and you're only and you know they have a lead on you. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, I think the same thing happened in, in game three. You know, he and McCollum didn't really have much, and um, I, I felt like, I, I mentioned it to our guys at halftime, that he was going to go out and be more aggressive just based on what happened in game three. And uh, we had a couple of coverages that got kind of, you know, we didn't get the ball directed where it needed to go, and he came off some screens and made some shots. There were some times we got him where we wanted to get him, you know, into the mid-range, and to his credit, he stepped back and made a few of those shots. I think we got, 
McCollum off the line, the three-point line at times, and he stepped back and made some tough ones too. I mean, those guys shot the ball from behind the line really, really efficiently, and they shot the ball well inside the line really efficiently. Actually, when we had, I thought, Lilla go into the rim there in the end of the third or the fourth quarter, we did a good job pulling over and providing some help. Thank you.